Hello, this is Drawing on a One, and today we're going to learn how to draw Pick a Peck. To start, you want to do a oval about in the top left of your page. What we're then going to do is we're going to kind of come off of it like this. We're going to come off of it kind of in like a curved. that and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the next we're going to come down just a little bit like that just to show where our next going to be okay then coming off in the neck we're going to do just a line like that for the back of the body and then up here, what to do? Like that, for the front of the body. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to do an oval right here. The eye. I'm going to do another oval inside of it for the pupil. Now we're going to do just a little highlight right here. You can shade in the pupil. Make sure to leave that highlight white. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to define that neck around where we did this. Like that. Okay, we're gonna do the tail. Which we're gonna do like this. We're just gonna I'm going to do one like that. I'm going to do another curved line like that. We're going to connect it back to the body. Like so. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the feet. So we're going to do a little and do an upside down arch right there. Just like so. I'm going to do just kind of branch out of it like this. And then come out like this. I'm gonna make two lines. I'm gonna come in like that, and then like that. And we're gonna do something like this. Kind of looks like a K, backwards K, just like that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the other foot, which is going to come out like this. And then comes down like that. And then we can draw the other little hump right there. Race inside of there. Inside those lines I made. Just like so.
बैठे Now coming um, over here, we're going to work over here with like the beak. So we're just going to come about like right here. Do another little curved piece. And then do that. I'm just gonna redo that. Oops. Misplace that. Okay, I'm gonna walk right here. Just like that, and then. So yes, you have to do circle there. There we go. That looks better. You can do right there. Just like that. Okay, and then So it comes up here, and it comes back, then it comes up into the tip like that. Okay, and then this can come down here, and then we're going to do kind of curls up right here. Like that. Okay. And we can erase all of our guidelines that we just made. It's like a little thing right here, so you're just gonna go okay, just like that. Now we're going to. Like that, okay. Now we're gonna do the wing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to draw 
the line coming up like this. Just like that. Okay, then we're gonna go something like that. I found that if you um, do what I've done and start um, the wing on the bottom by starting right here and going up, it's a lot easier to get the proportions of the feathers right than if you started at the top and came down. Okay, now we're going to do the wing that comes over here. So it just kind of looks like that because you can only see two of the feathers. like that. You can darken some other lines that we've done. And that is how you draw pick a pick. Thank you for watching.